Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your earth science teacher, Mr. Stano. And over the last few screen tests, we've been talking about weathering, physical weathering and chemical weathering. Uh, we're going to continue talking about chemical weathering, but working into pollution. Pollution basically will, when we have nitrogen compounds or sulfur compounds in our atmosphere, they react with the water droplets to produce acid rain. If we look at a pH scale, anything from 0 to 7 is going to be considered acidic. Anything from 7 to 14 is basic. So acid rain is actually within the acidic side and usually or generally lower than about 5, 5.5, five moving downwards to here. So our acidic, scale, um, acidic rain or acid rain is going to be a pH of lower then seven, specifically about 5.5 and lower. Acid rain in the United States, we see occurring in a number of different places, but specifically here on the East Coast, we're gonna see a little bit more of it. And you might be able to figure out why. We know that our prevailing weather patterns move across the United States from a west to east fashion. So basically any of the materials or pollution that occurs over to here, is going to be drawn over and fall over here. The same with there's a huge amount of industrialization over here. And once again, that will help form more acid rain in this region. So the East Coast, specifically the Northeast, kind of feels the brunt of this. Formation of acid rain, like I said, we have our sulfur and nitrogen compounds right here. They're going to react with the water in the atmosphere to form our acid rain. Okay, this pollution come anywhere from car exhaust, it can come from factories, basically the burning of any type of fossil fuel, we'll see that. For what we see is it forming over here and then those prevailing winds bring it over to the other side or moving it to a different area. In Germany, we see forests that have been completely annihilated due to this acid rain. Happens here, uh, happens pretty much all over the place where it changes the soil conditions which ultimately may make it not, which make it worse for certain species of trees to grow. Acid rain can also affect humans. Okay, and that's about it. We'll move on to the climatic effects of weathering next. I uh, hope you enjoyed this screencast. Take care.